In this video, I'm going to show you how to be able to create and save your own set and rep schemes and then be able to recall them from a drop down list in your programming template so that your set and rep scheme will automatically update to your program template. This is going to be really powerful if you wish to use Google Sheets to write and distribute your programs. So let's get after it. Okay, so we're back and we are starting off with a programming template piece where we have the ability to enter in our sets, reps, percentages, weight um, for four weeks, as well as in a normal programming template, this section where the exercise is might be a drop down list. And then I am also pulling a theoretical sort of max value for that exercise just because when we do some calculations later, we're going to use some percentages and we're going to want to be able to calculate off of a max value. So what I want to accomplish today is having a drop down list here in the yellow box where we can select from a group of um, set and rep schemes that we save in a master table and then have those automatically input into our programming template piece. So the first thing that we're going to want to do is actually create a section where we can save our set and rep schemes. And I'm just going to do this off to the side so that we can keep everything on one sheet. But in a normal template, I would usually do this on a separate page and then be able to recall this to my template, but have this all saved somewhere else so that it doesn't um, interfere with my template. So let's get after this now. The first thing that I'm gonna want is an area where I can actually save my set name. So I'm going to type in set name here. And then what I want is an ability to enter in my sets, reps, and percentages that I actually want to use. So an easy way that I, I'm going to do that is I'm just going to copy the same headings from my programming template. So I'm going to control C that, and I will just paste those in line with set name. And then I'm going to just copy where it says week one, and I'm going to paste that above there. And I'm going to just unmerge that and just merge it so that it is three cells long instead of four. So now we have a spot where we can start to input our week one sets, reps, and percentages. And then I'm just going to copy this over sort of three more times and change these to week two, three, four. And now we just have a spot where we can do that. And I'm just going to put sort of a border down um, all the way. And that's just going to give me a space where I can start to put in my actual um, sets and reps. And I'm just going to do that for all of these here. Now, again, like I said, this would be on another sheet in the actual um, workbook. And I want this, this would be like a whole sheet table. So just to signify that, I'm just going to copy this last row down a couple so that it looks like there's no end to this table. Now, just to make sure that this looks all the same, one thing that I can do is where it says week one here, if I copy that and then go to where I typed in my set name, I can actually right click and then paste that, but I can paste the format only and it will automatically change uh, my set name to match. Although what it did was actually merge the cells as well. So I'm gonna um, undo that and I'll do the same thing, but I'll, I'll just take something that is only one cell long. So if I copy where it says set and I'll actually paste that in there, right paste for, or right click paste format only now it all kind of matches okay so this is going to form the basis of our table we basically have a spot where we can enter in all of our set names all of our um, number of sets reps and percentages for each one and then just to keep it consistent what I'll do is I'm just holding control and I'm selecting these cells and I'm just going to give those a light yellow color just so that I remember that those are actually percentage um, spaces okay so let's start to create our first set and rep. So let's just create an easy five by five. So I'm gonna type in five times five. And how I would usually write this is I'd use an at symbol, and then I might type in 50 um, for the first week, 60 for the second week, 70, and then back to 50. And this might form the basis of my set and rep name. So a five by five would look like this. I'd have one set, two set, three set, four set, five set. And then for reps, we'd have five, 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 five. And then for percentages, we wanted 50 in this first week. So it would look kind of like that. Now I want this cell to actually be a percentage. So the first thing I'm going to do 
is actually um, highlight this whole column and then I'm going to change that to a percent and you can see that right away this is going to make that 5,000 so we'll just retype in our 50s there and because of um, the decimal places it's just hiding our percentage so what we'll do again is highlight this whole cell and then just take away um, some of the decimal places so that we only see sort of that 50%. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm just gonna copy that and paste it over a couple times just to make sure that they are all sort of formatted the same. So we wanted one at 60 as well. So I'll just copy this over one more time to each one. And then these are gonna be 60%. Then the next week will be 70%. And then the next week is going to be 80% or uh, sorry, back to 50%. So there you go. That is going to be our actual first set and rep scheme. Now, in order to pull this into our um, programming template, we're going to have to do a couple of things. I am going to use a filter value or a filter function that checks to see if the name that we've selected is the same as the name in the set name column. And then if it is, it takes this row basically. So what I'm going to need to do is put this same name beside each one of these rows that I want to re-pull out. So what I can do there is I can copy this and then scroll all the way down and then just hit V and it will paste the same name beside that. But the cool thing about um, Google Sheets is when I go to make my named range out of this, it's only gonna show everything that is unique. So let's show you how that works now. So if I go to my um, programming template here and I click in the yellow box where we actually want to make this, I can go to data, data validation and create a list from range. And my range can just be all of these cells. And if I just delete the end here, we'll go all the way down and hit save. And now I'm actually able to just pull out that set and rep scheme that we have created. But if you notice, it's only in there once because Google Sheets recognizes that these values are the same, so it's only gonna ask me to pull that out once. If I was to type in another one down here, say three times four at 70%, then that would go in there as well. So this is a quick and easy way that we can start to create that um, drop-down menu. So then the next piece is we want to create our filter formula. So what I can do here is in this first top um, cell underneath set, I can type equals filter, open that up, and the range that I want to filter is actually the sets, reps, and percentages. So if I scroll all the way across here for week one, so in this case V4, all the way to X4, but I want the whole thing, so I'll delete the four at the end, so you can see it's taking these three columns, and then I'm going to hit comma, and I want to pull that out when u4 all the way down to u is equal to the set and rep scheme that we have chosen. And when I close this off, it's going to pull out that entire set and rep scheme. So you can see how that works really fast. So that's a quick and easy way that we can get that done. And we can copy this same formula and paste it in week two, week three, and week four. And the easy way to do that is I know that my set and rep um, is never going to change. So I'm just going to F4 that and lock it in, hit OK. And then I'm just going to copy this. And in my set, I'm gonna paste that back in. But in this case, instead of um, V4 to X, we want Y4 to AA to match up with our week two. And then I can hit Enter. And if I do it one more time under week three, instead of V4, we want AB to AD. Hit enter. And if I do it one more time, this time we want um, AE to AG. And I'll hit enter. And you can see I've sort of left the formula in here to calculate out the weights, but I will show you how to do that now. So then the next thing that we wanna do is actually calculate out the weights based on a max that we've already pulled out and the percentages that we've entered. So what I can do here is in this top box, I can type in there, I can type equals 
array formula because we want to use an array formula because we want to be able to type this in once and have it calculate all the way down. And then we have to do a check to see if there is a percentage in there or not. So what this looks like is I can type equals if, open that up, and we're going to take E4 or E5 all the way down, and we're going to look to see if that is blank. So what we're looking for is if E5 to E13 does not equal blank, then what we want to actually do is we want to multiply um, B10, and that's never going to change, so we're going to lock that in with F4, and we want to multiply that by um, E5 to E13. E5 all the way down to E13, and then comma, but if it is blank, then we'll just leave it blank, and then I'm gonna close both of those off, and when I hit enter, what you're gonna notice is that it's automatically going to do that multiplication. And if I were to change the max over here, you can see that the number automatically changes. Or if I was to change the percentages in my actual um, set and rep scheme, you can see that that max is automatically going to change as well. So there you go, that is a quick and easy way that you can create a chart to save all of your set and rep schemes and then use that chart to pull those set and rep schemes into your actual programming template. So I hope this trick helps you out. And if it does, if you could like and subscribe to the channel as well as leave a comment down below, that would really help the channel grow. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you.